Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another Quick Tips Tutorials brought to you by Photoshop Elements Custom Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in with today's poster. Want us to know how to create light rays, sun rays, whatever you want to call them. They are sun flares, they're glares. Um, basically, there's a hard way to do it in uh, Photoshop and Elements, and there's a simple way to do it. We're going to show you uh, an unconventionally simple way to make light rays. You take the photo, erase portions of the photo, and then take a copy of it and change its brightness or contrast. In our case, we're going to actually be shifting the lightness of the colors. So all we got to do is make a duplicate. I'm going to right click and say duplicate this layer. And then that bottom layer, we're going to turn that layer off. So now we got the top layer and we're going to work on the top layer. And basically we're going to draw out where we want our light rays to come from. So let's look at this. It looks like the sunlight is coming from up on the upper left side and it comes down and hits down here on the bottom right. Knowing that, let's go ahead and grab an eraser and just start erasing out our light rays. So we're going to start with the eraser and start erasing away our light rays. So right now you see what the cursor is very, very small. It's a brush at nine points here. It's a soft brush. Let's make that a lot bigger. Let's actually make that a soft brush, but do like a hundred points. And now you can see how much bigger that is. And now we just kind of start drawing out where we want our light rays to come from. We'll do one behind the tree and we'll come down here and hit this plant over here. And then we'll just dry out portions of that plant. We'll get the, the most widest point of this ray and bring it back to that point up here. And then we can get rid of some of this stuff in the middle. I'll maybe do this like at 50 points. That's halfway through and come down to this plant right here and then bring it back up like that. So it leaves a little bit there that'll be darker we want to do is land on anything that's lighter so that's what we want to do let's start again back here at about 75 point and come from that same angle and get rid of all of that come down here and then hit this here and come down to here i'm just kind of just indiscriminately just following where all the brightness is coming from and come back up. We can leave these areas here in the middle. Then we'll start again down here. And this time I'm going to go and click here and then hold the shift and come down to these plants right here like that and come back up. Do that again. Come down to about here. Do that again behind that and come down to about here. Bring it back up and maybe a little bit here and then come down here where it's brighter again. Maybe get rid of some of this stuff here and then come down to, let's say, down around here like that. And that's looking pretty good. Now we'll get rid of some of the stuff down here. I'm going to use the smudge brush, uh, do like a hundred point and smudge some of this stuff out of here like this. And then go back with the eraser, make it really big, like 150 point and just dabble and get rid of some of these points right there. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So now that we got rid of all of the points that we want that are brighter, all we got to do is come to this bottom layer, click on it. We can turn it back on and then we're going to come up to enhance. And instead of going to lightness, brightness and contrast, I'm going to shift the colors lightness. So I'm going to come up to adjust color, adjust hue saturation. And there we have our saturation and our lightness. So if, if I bring it lower, that's what I'm going to end up doing with the top end. So I'm going to actually bring it higher. Watch this, the lightness. And there's our light rays. We can bring it up as much as we want. Obviously, it's too much right there. So let's bring it down almost to about, like, let's say 11 points, maybe really subtle. I'm going to type it in here at nine points. There's nine points light rays. And the reason why I'm doing it really subtle is so that I can grab the top end again, come back to enhance color saturation, and now bring down the foreground and watch what happens. The light rays are going to come out even more. Look at that. That's looking pretty darn good. I'm not going to go that far. I'm just going to make it really subtle. So I'll do something like right around there. That's like at around minus 15 points. We like that. And that's all there is to it. Well, this is Rich calling it quits for this tutorial saying over and out.